there's a there's a head. Look at that, guys. We found a headpiece. Oop. Right there. Welcome back to another Natural Stones episode where today we're hunting Eurypterids, the ancient sea scorpion. It's it's a lobster with a stinger. And today this is my secret spot here in New York. Eurypterid is the New York State fossil. You better stay and watch the end of the video because I'm gonna show you exactly what I found. We're gonna see if we can dig into these Eurypterids. Underneath the mud cracks, that's your that's the layer we're working in. So we're gonna split some of these off. Just by observing, it seems to be in a dolomite or a dolostone, which is a modified limestone with a lot of magnesium in it. So they must have liked like tidal flat environments that were under a couple of inches of water daily, really, really shallow, probably isolated from the rest of the ocean. And we're also seeing lots of gorgeous mud cracks, which we just exposed. And I kind of lost my head over because they're so gorgeous. That is incredible. It was periodic drying, so it couldn't have been under more than a couple of inches of water. Yeah, they must have thrived. They must have been one of the only organisms because as, aside from the Eurypterids, there's not much apparent that's been preserved in these stones. So we had no luck over there. What we were digging in would, would, was up here. But as you can see, someone here had an angle grinder, even a road cutting saw. So our new approach is to just take the tailings from what other people use, like the thick blocks, and split them open. I just did that and I found this piece right here. As you can see, like all these body segments stacked up on each other. This one's a big full one. Body segment, body segment. And this is the opposite side. So as you can see, it was like that, all put together. You split it along these seams here and out pops your fossil. So that's what we're gonna do. Safety, number one of four. There's a, there's a head. Look at that, guys. We found a head piece oh, right there with two eyes. And there's the opposite side. It was just like that. And you split it to reveal the head piece. I'm gonna keep that. Nice. Well, you're standing on it. What? You're standing on a block <laughs> that you want to move. There's a crack right here, so I'm, maybe I might be able to open that up a little bit. Check this out. I mean, this piece is cool. There's three abdomen pieces here. This one at the bottom has one, two, three, four, five, six body segments plus the stinger. All together, if you see here, we've got the stinger, the abdomens, the headpiece. I'd say we got almost all of the Eurypterid here, except for the paddles, you know, like the swimming paddles. All these are very little pieces. And the last time I came here, it was epic. I was doing the same thing, just so splitting them open, splitting them open, splitting them open. And then finally, one, revealed itself and it's not complete it, it's missing the flippers and then i don't have it on video but i turned it into a nameplate for myself so it, now it sits on my desk at school mr wally has this perfect eurypterid it's it's now my nameplate so it's really cool and it's a great story and it all came from right here Today is gonna be a little it is the new york state more. fossil and i found it. usually i make stuff 
every week, but this week was an extra special rock hounding week that I couldn't just not put on the channel for you guys. So if you like videos about making things out of rocks, we have plenty of them. Thanks for watching. It's my lucky day.